So I don't think it's any secret, particularly to the people who watch my channel, on just how bad mainstream comics have gotten. Uh, Memology 101 posted this on Twitter. <laughs> this is from Guardians of the Galaxy number 1, 2020. Look at how terrible this is. As It's a Gundam points out right here, looks like this was written by Chris Chan. <laughs> what a story, Mark. And he's not wrong. <laughs> Take a look at this writing. Call me Marvel Boy. I'm a parallel universe Cree. Allied with the Utopian faction, I actually founded that. I can walk on walls. My fingernails are an explosive compound. My saliva is a psychedelic drug. I have total control of my body and my mind. I carry my own laws of physics with me as a weapon. Pronouns are he, him. That name again is Marble Boy. Any questions? <laughs> <laughs> and then, you know, things aren't much better over at DC Comics who have no idea what they want to do with anything. They're like, first of all, we'll make YA books. Like, I'm not Starfire, and now that's not working, so let's start changing Let's start changing uh, who characters like to hook up with. Out of nowhere, Robin decides that uh, he's into dudes now because they have no idea what to do with Tim Drake, by the way. Four Robins. All of them have an identity except for Tim Drake. So, like, we'll just change his sexual identity. That's what we'll do with him, and that'll make him a much better character. Because uh, Dick Grayson has his Nightwing book. He's doing his own thing. Uh, Jason Todd is Red Hood. He's doing his own thing. Damian Wayne is a Robin. I think there's two Robins, him and Tim. Damian Wayne's, like, doing this whole ninja tournament thing. He's doing his own thing. Robin's just... Tim Drake Robbins just kind of hanging around doing nothing. Uh, he was going to get his own book with Spoiler, it looked like, but that's now probably been scrapped so that he can hang out with his twink. And, uh, yeah, they're just like, we'll just change this because we have no idea what to do with, with Tim Drake. So we'll just, we'll just do this. That's something that we can do with him. It's such a joke. And then, you know, you look at these, th these findings that have come out today. This is a really big deal because this isn't just top adult books. This is top books, period. <laughs> what, this is a bigger deal. Manga titles were three of the top five books in the U.S. book scan reports. That's uh, pretty damn impressive. Pretty damn impressive. U.S. manga sales have been on fire throughout the COOF period. And they've hit a new benchmark this week, ending August 7th, when new manga releases were three of the best-selling print books in the entire U.S., according to information from the NPD group NPD Bookscan. All three were released that week. The latest volumes of three-hit Viz Media series, uh, Jujutsu, Jujutsu Kaisen, which I have, no, I, I have not read that, and I don't know anything about it. I know it's popular. I know it's popular. Maybe I should check it out. A Demon Slayer, surprising nobody. <laughs> Demon Slayer is excellent. That I do know about. You should definitely check it out. And Chainsaw Man. A uh, really, really cool book. Getting an anime soon. Highly recommend Chainsaw Man. It's actually really fun. It's an awesome concept. Uh, this is a year of record manga sales. Three manga volumes have made the bottom half of the weekly top 10 from Bookscan, but this is the first time we can remember seeing three manga tiles, titles in the top five. This includes all hardcover and trade paperbacks sold by retailers tracked by NPD Bookscan. Now, the one that I always like to point out and laugh about because it just shows how how terrible mainstream comics are, is top adult graphic novels. This is top uh, graphic novels, period. Everything. Kids, adult, whatever. I mean, that's 
pretty impressive. I wish I could see the whole list. It's not on there. I think it's behind a paywall. So, unfortunately, don't have that. But uh, it's still crazy, right? The, the, the DC – where is I'm not Starfire, that big sure ace in the hole, right? If anything, that was just a good advertisement for why you should be reading Chainsaw Man or Demon Slayer. Uh, Marvel is just showing you why you should go read My Hero Academia right here with this garbage. <laughs> Nobody wants this shit. I'm telling you, they're they're banking, they're banking. Marvel's banking on becoming comics of the state. That's what I think. They think you know maybe Bernie's dream will come true and we can become official state comic books. Then they wouldn't have to make any money. They'd be free. They'd be government funded. Uh, DC Comics actually trying to jump on this craze. Uh, DC characters are coming to web comics through deal with Webtoon. Now, this was pretty interesting. This dropped yesterday at 5.55 a.m. Uh, PT. And I, I was a little familiar with Webtoon. I've never went there. It looks like it's all free. Oh, uh, that's pretty crazy. Uh, you can see here, it's uh, I believe it's South Korean. At least according to what Variety is saying here. Uh, DC Universe superheroes will be featured in several upcoming web comics series through a new deal between Warner Media's DC Entertainment and Webtoon. Under the agreement, DC and Webtoon, owned by South Korean internet company Naver, will collaborate on standalone web comics, comics that will appeal to all fans without the need to read any previous stories according to the companies. Now that's actually that's a that's a good idea. So We'll, we'll talk about it in a second. For now, however, DC and Webtoons aren't divulging any details about the projects emerging from the stable of superheroes from DC, which includes Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, The Flash, Green Lantern, and Aquaman. The companies plan to announce more in the next few weeks. The DC webcomics will be available in English, followed by other language translations. DC is excited to introduce our iconic characters to a new generation of fans worldwide. DC Comics SVP and GM Daniel Cherry III said in a statement, he added that DC has been working closely with the Webtoon writers and artists to adapt our characters and stories to Webtoon's mobile format. Our shared goal is to create fun, compelling DC stories that all readers will enjoy. Now, what's funny, DC has been working closely with Webtoon. You just back off, <laughs> let them write and do everything. Uh, you stay away. Uh, that's your best. That's your best bet. Keep your talent. Actually, I mean, you want to call them talent. Keep your employees away from these uh, amazing Asian artists and let them do what they do. Now, I mean, this is, I might check out like some of this looks pretty cool. I was I was looking around. It looks like it's all free. I clicked on just about everything. Had no problem like reading some of the stuff. Uh. I mean, you can tell by the style. This looks this Doombreaker looks awesome, right? Now, if they can pull this off, this might this might be a game changer for them. But it's kind of funny to make their comics and their characters popular. They have to tuck tail and dump their American artists who are trash. There's like a handful of really good American artists because they keep hiring all this Tumblr trash to come and work for them. They have to go to South Korea now to make people interested in their characters. Uh, this is why I laugh when all of these American comic pros were like, oh, 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 comics are doing so well. Oh, they're doing so well. Look at how manga is increasing the popularity of our comic books. And it's like, you dummy. Uh, they're not going to they're not going to come to you. Look what they're doing. It's already started. Now they're going to Webtoon to make their characters popular and to get people to read them again. Uh, they're not coming to you. Uh, they're going to Webtoon. Look at this looks cool. Weak hero. This looks, this is good looking stuff. So, you know, I'll probably check these out, especially if it's free. If it's free, like this stuff is, I'm just clicking on stuff, you know, and it's all free from what I've seen. Now, if I'm wrong, feel free to correct me on that. But, uh, as far as I was able to tell, I could just click on anything. So, like I said, if that's not true, I apologize. I'm not super familiar with Webtoon. So, uh, definitely some pretty cool stuff here. And this, to me, is a smart idea. But bad news, 
for American comic pros who are celebrating this move. Like they're celebrating. This looks pretty cool. What is this? Evelyn and the occult. That's something to check out. So, uh, you know, it's just funny. It's funny to me how they all celebrated this. Look what happened. This is this is exactly what happened with the auto industry. Like I said, because I always like to compare it to the auto industry. You know, Ford didn't celebrate when Toyota took over their market. Right. And to compete, what did they do? They outsourced work to Mexico and all kinds of other places where they could get cheap labor. Well, this is kind of the same thing, except now they're they're outsourcing this to uh, better people. Like, this is putting you out of work. And I said, why are you celebrating this? They're not going to bring you over. You know, Japan, South Korea, these places aren't going to bring you over. And all of them are complaining how broke they are and posting pictures of them, like, eating, like, cat food looking meat. I'm not even kidding. I'm not even kidding. It's a guy like posting pictures of like spam and Velveeta mac and cheese he was mixing because he didn't have any money to eat. This is a comic book person. I'm not going to show it because I felt the guy, I felt as humiliating, but they, you know, they're like bragging about how broke they are to each other. Even in the, uh, the animated stuff, which is actually pretty good to be honest. I just watched a uh, Batman long Halloween part one and two. It's great. DC Comics animated line is really, really good, unlike Marvel's What If, which is pure trash, by the way. Uh, now they're starting to convert everything to an anime style. Like, look at this. That's like the only picture on there, but I mean, you could tell what they're trying to do here. At least DC Comics has some sense and they can tell where the wind is blowing. But Marvel, man, I don't know what they're going to do. <laughs> this is pure shit. Uh, so... You know, we'll see what happens. I, I, I find all of this very fascinating because we really are watching a shift. We're watching a shift in how things are done in comics. And uh, it's it's going to be funny. Hey, they said time and time again, if you don't like my politics, don't buy my books. Well, uh, people have been obliging. So anyway, thanks for watching. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, make sure to follow me over on Twitch. I do watch parties, play video games over there. They're always fun. Follow me over there and come hang out. Also, make sure you subscribe to Yellow Flash, my other channel. There's a link to that in the description as well. I do a lot of live streams over there that I don't do on this channel, usually smaller and a little bit more personal. So make sure you follow me over there and sign up.